focus on Lowndes v Radisic. And we certainly know who's moving the quicker out of the two of these. Well, oh, and no. well, that's just true as we watch Lowndes move on the inside oh, of Radisic. John Bow has been black flagged for passing under yellow. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow. whoa. Do you know, it was funny because I, it didn't look as if Garth Tander was trying to, trying to protect no. his ground. And you'll see this this time around. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. The Garth Tander hanging on by his fingernails. If he finishes second, and uh, Lowndes finishes no higher than third, he'll still win the day. But, gee, there's still a lot of racing to go. John Bow will get the signal this time around from his pit crew. And from the officials, you can see the number 600 right up above the starting so he's just been given the signal that he's got a black flag. Two laps remaining. Talk about drama for John Bauer. <laughs> We've had it all here today at Queensland Raceway. Tanda still hanging in behind. And, well, essentially he leads the race. In the Valvoline Cummins Commodore, lap 16 of 17. And look, two laps remaining. Look at Neil Crockett. Yeah. He's now caught these two hand over fist. Seat is on Ingle also. We talk about back there in ninth and tenth position. Well, after the start, Russell Ingle gone. And he would be back in ninth position, obviously struggling with Russell's time. things in a right old state, isn't it? It's all over the show. And here's Seaton slipping up the inside. This will be Glenn Seaton for ninth position. And while Glenn battles with Russell Ingle, his teammate Neil Crompton is right up at the other end of the field. And he's uh, that is Seaton oh, yeah. slipping behind oh, and moving. Oh, no, that's a bit of current. The current looks a bit of a gap there. Larkham's through oh, as well. Yeah. Quite a few positions. Murphy's got a uh, trailing bumper there. Better see the oh, collision. He's got, he's got battle damage all over that car. This is the boys have got the magic tape on the left hand side doors to keep them close. Now I wonder how the battle's going up front between Crompton and Tanda. Final lap. Here he is here. Now Neil Crompton. He could be heading for his first V8 supercar win. This is it, the run to home. He knew he had to get a consistent run this weekend. I think he finished eighth in the first race, eighth in the second. And now have a look at this. He's in second position chasing Garth Tander. Both drivers here going for their maiden V8 supercar win. I wonder what John Bauer's going to do. Well, he's he's black flag he situation. hasn't got much time to cope with I that. I think he's probably going to try and finish the race. Oh, boy, there's a lot of, lot of legal kerfuffle to come out of this, but there's plenty of action on the track. This one's not over yet. Half a lap to go. John Bauer in first. Tander in second. Trumpet in third. Basically, all Tanner needs to do is just defend here. Yeah, defend here and just keep her nice and tight and not run wide on the way out. And then over onto the right hand side of the road, it gives Crompton nowhere at all to go, go up the inside. What a remarkable story for this 1997 Australian Formula Ford champ, Garth Tander. Last year, he was mechanic on a, on a Formula Ford car. He was without a drive at the beginning of last year. Now he is heading for his first Shell Championship Series win. The chicken flag is waiting and the 22 year old Garth Tander takes his very first V8 supercar win ahead of a very determined Neil Crompton as they flash across the line. Jason Bright has come in for third. Hard luck for John Bow after driving so well. But the word through from the pits, the black flag for passing under a yellow. There is Garth Tander at just 22 years of age. Oh, oh dear me. Johnny, Johnny Briggs in the super cheap autos car. He's blown up something big time under there, but fortunately he just made it across the finish line. Briggs has had a strong day too. Uh, uh, I, think he, I think he's just had the word from Rogers that uh, his teammate, uh, his team manager, Gary Rogers, that he's just won the day. There you can see Gary. the fists in the air. And there's Greg, one of the mechanics. What a, what a and fabulous result. That is tremendous stuff. 1997 Australian Formula Ford champ now. A V8 supercar winner, race winner and round winner. Now, although you see John Bow in first position there, that comes through off the timing monitor through to our graphics. He has been black flagged. Garth Tander is in fact the winner from Crompton Bright. Lowndes, a great run by Craig Lowndes after being as far back as 24th. Fantastic drive. First time you're up on the podium, you're uh, headed for the top. Yeah, mate, yeah, thanks a lot, Mark. I can't believe we're up here, actually. There's been a lot of... Uh, 
a lot of incidents today and uh, I didn't even know I had to sprint down pit lane to make it up here. But uh, thanks to Metro Central and Charles Rhyming for giving me the drive and all my fans here in Queensland. Thanks very much. Congratulations, Wayne Wakefield. I'm sure we'll see more of him in action in the rounds to come. Very hard day out there for all the competitors. A great Ford versus Holden battle. The man who finished third today. And it was a very tough drive too. Jason Bright. Well, you were pretty, uh, pretty fast in qualifying around here, but racing's obviously a different discipline. Yeah, we've been working very hard on trying to get the car to last um, over 17 laps around here. And, you know, we, these guys came here and got it in one go. So um, you know, we're a little bit disappointed. This is our, our home track and we we're hoping to make the most of it. But, you know, we'll just have to head, on, head down this calder and beat them at their home track. Congratulations, Jason Bright. Third place today and fighting hard in this championship. Second, he's our championship leader. And, boy, he's very, very good at just putting those points together. Put your hands together for Craig Lowndes. So you're becoming very good at winning championships. Just got to stay on the track there. You had some difficulty on that uh, third heat, but you managed to get back again. Well, it was, Mark. Obviously, uh, turn one uh, caused a bit of carnage, but we got through that. And uh, now the guys did a fantastic job. Mobile Holden Bridgestone, thank you very much. Uh, now the car's working great. Congratulations, Craig Lowndes. Second place for the Mobile Holden Racing Team in keeping this championship very much alive. Right now, I'd like to call on Bob Glinderman from Shell, our fantastic series sponsor, to make the award. And please put a big round of applause together for this man. It's his first championship win and the first indeed for Gary Rogers Motorsport, Darth Tanda. What a fantastic moment, gosh. This is uh, the first round win. I know Jason took the team's first heat win at Calder last year, but this is the first round win, and indeed your first win. You're only 22 years of age. What a fantastic moment. Yeah, I feel that probably hasn't sunk in yet. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. Uh, uh, it's, just, it's just payback to our guys. They've, they've been through a hell, really. Um, we've rebuilt the cars probably 10 times in the last six months. And um, for them, this is for them, for our sponsors, Valvoline Cummins and Holden. Thanks very much for supporting us and staying behind us. Um, Everyone else that's uh, been behind us and been part of it in my formative years. And to win at the first race at Queensland, uh, it's fantastic, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> no doubt he is. Put your hands together, folks. Garth Tander, the big winner at the first race at Queensland Raceway. A couple of key things to take away from this round. Craig Lowndes has extended his championship points to almost 200, which is a very hefty margin. Jason Bright now leapfrogs Glenn Seaton into that second position. We work back through the order. No major changes there. And we go all the way back to John Bow. 